bachelor for today kind of get a nice little welcome back for everybody that is tuning into the show today all right so this is the show welcome back, welcome back. Welcome back everybody it's nice to be here this is episode 13 season five it's taken us a while but we're finally here so we got an amazing episode for y'all today let's uh get these tunes rocking turn down the music a little bit you know get it nice create some atmosphere if you will um so on today's episode we have a lovely bachelor and he has three contestants that he's going to be picking from how the game works is each person is going to get a couple of questions apiece for the first round then unfortunately somebody is eliminated then they go into round number two where we'll double up the questions and then he makes his final pick him and that person will get to know each other off of the platform and they'll tune back in next friday closer to 12 p.m eastern time it might be late but not too late to catch up on race to date all right so we have an awesome ba a bachelor if i could get him to request the box and also i have to give you guys an update on last week's um our last week's uh top gifters from our last week at the number one spot we had baywatch i'm going to be featuring him on the official rate to date name tag number two spot we had firefire no face no face literally that's what the emoji says <laughs> number three spot she was our bachelorette but she still found time to make it to the number three spot freaky d at the number three spot our next bachelorette techie is uh what i mean by she's going to be featured as a bachelorette on the next episode she's at the number four spot and you can't forget somebody who is also i guess he goes by gray so you big old round of applause for our top gifters from our last episode and uh, congratulations baywatch i am officially going to be baywatch b-a-y-w-a-t-c i leave my handwriting crap i got chicken scratch known for it first grade all the way up till present so you know I, I, I guess i just can't help it all right but let's get into the today's show all right so if we can't get our bachelor to request the box waiting for him and also our contestants if we could get each one of our contestants to request the box while i have one of my admins go grab our bachelor Coley, how are we doing? Good, how are you? I'm doing fantastic. Thank so we'll you. In here one at a time. Let's get all, all in here. And then we got a beauty. Beauty, how are we doing? I'm doing good. I love the costume. Oh my God. It's so oh, cute. And the wings are flapping. Yes. I love it. <laughs> That is awesome. You guys look incredible. Okay, so starting off with Coley, I got some random facts about you. Let's get to know the ladies while we have our bachelor. Well, can I get one of my admins to uh, get a hold of our today's bachelor? So starting off with uh, Lady G, how are you doing, sweetheart? I'm good, thank you. How are you? Thanks for having me. I am doing fantastic. So I have some random facts about you and let me know if, mm -hmm. if these things are true. So. It says over here, the beach is my happy place. When did this, when did your love for the beach first happen? How old were you? Were you like Selena doing the washing machine over there beachside? Tell us a little I bit. I mean, about always, it. yeah. I grew up in California, but I went to high school in Hawaii and just um, just being able to experience that, that the island and everything there is just like no other. So the beach is my, definitely my happy place. <laughs> beach please all right so the number two fact about you it says um i watched game of thrones three times already they went through the whole freaking show three times all, all yep three times i've watched it i i almost want to do it a fourth time to be honest <laughs> wow. like, well, yes well, hope, that is incredible well i hope today's show doesn't drag on dra drag uh, call the cops somebody all right and the number three random wow. fact about you it says my favorite food also a favorite of mine is uh i like to make mexican food i cook a lot of mexican food i can make like so many different tacos tamales like everything 
is it's my favorite. Well, that is awesome. Uh, I, I am a big fan. Oh, I'm, I'm, sure, yeah. I'm sure most people are. So, all right, mm -hmm. now we're get, going over to Coley. Coley, how are we doing there, sweetheart? Good, how are you? Thank you for having me. Of, of course, of course. Uh, it says here, Coley, I'm a foodie. Speaking of food, right? I'm a foodie. <laughs> I love to cook. Um, so my question for you would be, if you had the chance to make today's bachelor a dish, what is your go-to dish? Um, it's hard to say. I don't, I, I usually ask them what their favorite dish is and then I just really make that. Okay. So, all right. Like, so you know, I ask them, like, whatever. Is we need to start calling you Burger King. You, 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 you <laughs> have it there. Right? You, you, you make it how you want it. We'll make it how, how you want it. Uh, okay. And then, so another, uh, we should call this, we have so many cooks in the house. We should call this rate the plate. Okay, for the number two uh, fact about you, it says, very spiritual. I like things like chakras and grounding myself. EMF mm -hmm. intrigues me and I practice meditation. When did you first get yeah. into that? Um, first, actually, that's uh, about four or five years ago. I started my journey um, learning about um, the electromagnetic fields and our energies that we give off and our aura. Um, and I've just been learning and studying that ever since it like really just intrigued me. I learned how to do grounding with trees and being barefoot in nature. Um, like Lady, Lady D um, said, <clears throat> uh, the beach is our happy place. That's where I started. Um, the water, the ocean is the most uh, purest form of nature that you can be around to cleanse yourself. Like, well, you know, well, speaking you of cleansing, I feel like let's do a little practice here. Let's take 30 seconds to just uh, breathe in the positivities <laughs> and just let go of all the negativities in our lives. So let's all breathe in together. Let the universe send us its abundance and everything that it has in store <laughs> for us and just let go and let God release all the negative. <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you. I feel good. <laughs> Namaste. Yes. But uh, let's get into our next contestant. That's going to be beauty. I told her, Hey, do you mind? It, like one of her random facts here is I'm a cosplayer. And if you can see it, she looks, she got the wings going, they're flapping. She looks, she looks nice. When did you first get into cosplay? How, how, how did this love affair with dressing up like different things happen? I actually started streaming. Um, uh, I didn't know anything about the gifts. I just started uh, streaming because I was at home from COVID. And uh, I wanted to do something special for my gifters. So I just started dressing up and it just evolved to what it is today. I always liked it to dress up, but it evolved more when I started streaming. Well, definitely you look the part and I appreciate Thank you. you. Your follow through mm -hmm. is um, far to none. <laughs> and it says here also, uh, also like most streamers, I believe you are an introvert. Um, I am, so, I am an introvert. That's good. why streaming is like good for me because I can stay here and you stay over there. <laughs> <laughs> You know? Yeah, well, fair enough. I feel like I feel like as streamers, most of us are introverts. And because yeah. we're able to function within our comfort zone, the, the right. four corners that are our room or whatever place we feel comfortable, mm -hmm. we can kind of branch out and let our inner personality shine like exactly. it wouldn't maybe if we were all here in person. Right. Okay. And then it says I'm, I'm a crafter. What, what type what type of stuff are you crafting up? I make a lot of my props. I make a lot of my props. Um, there are some I do buy, but a lot of them, if I can't find them, I make them. But I spend a lot of time doing Christmas crafting, Halloween crafting. I've done that stuff in my in my life. Um, for Christmas, I did crafting with beauty, which I showed some little cute crafts that you can make to give to your family members or friends. Well, that is awesome. And, and it definitely is not, that doesn't shock me at all. It doesn't take me by surprise. It looks like you're very passionate about what you do. All right. So um, I think one of my admins is working on getting a bachelor here. So in the meantime, I am not going to 
definitely <laughs> step on the brakes at all. I'm going to keep this show moving forward and let's uh, get to know you ladies because I'm sure that everybody's seeing y'all would like to get to know y'all. And I'm going to ask y'all with some personal dating questions because I got a million of these things upstairs. All right. So how about we have Coley as contest number one. We'll have Beauty as contest number two. And then we'll have Lady as contest number three. Sound good, everybody? Yes. Sounds good. All right. So Coley, my question for you is, this is my favorite question. If you guys have ever watched Rate the Date, and I'm talking to you, chat. And by the way, I know you guys are sending gifts. It's hard to be a host and also show my love and appreciation. But I'm going to be giving y'all some sign language, one, one of these, couple of these, to let y'all know that I do appreciate everything that y'all do. And my admins are definitely going to be the voice of me in the chat. So, Coley, my question for you is, what would your ex say is a quality that he least liked about you? Um... Well, I would first like to preface that the last relationship I had, I wasn't in my journey where I am now <laughs> as a growing and evolving person. So I think that he would probably say um, my um, my ability, like not like not being so trusting of him, you know, um, always being like suspicious and like thinking there's an like ulterior motive behind things all the time. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah you, you know, I've, that's, that, that doesn't take me by surprise either on that aspect, because you do have some controlling men out there. I just saw it was, uh, what, what's her name? Uh, uh, Penelope Cruz. And she was yelling with uh, the belated uh, Paul Walker. And, and he was, mm -hmm. she was like, you look, you yelled at, that, you yelled at that guy because you said he was looking at me. And he was like, he was looking at you. She, she said, I'm a beautiful woman. People are going to look at me. You know, so <laughs> right. that makes, that makes yeah. perfect sense. All right, moving it over to beauty. Same question for you, beauty. What would your ex say is a quality about you that he didn't necessarily appreciate? I do have a tendency of being jealous. You, you, so you're the jealous one in the relationship, is what you're alluding to. I can be, I can be. It's not overly jealous, just one of those, you know, protect my man jealous. Well, that makes sense. We do got a bachelor that stepped up and we appreciate him. Ghosty, if you guys <laughs> don't remember him, he was on our last episode, Ghosty. Yes, sir. All right, Ghosty. Real quick, hit us with two random facts, interesting random facts about you that we wouldn't know just based on looking at you. I'm in finance banking and I'm a single father. Okay, boom, hit us with that. And I do remember about him is that he does have a financial savvy. He's already working and been working on uh, providing that stability in a relationship that I, th I think most women appreciate. So Ghosty, are you ready to get into the show? We have a question for your contestant number two. And it, she said that she is a little bit sometimes a, a jealous type of beauty. What about a guy makes you jealous though? What, what can a guy trigger you into your, your um, insecurities? Like what? what, well, what did... I, wouldn't, I wouldn't say it's insecurities. It's more like you're paying attention to somebody when I'm around, but I don't feel it's appropriate inappropriate, you know, um, attention, I would say. Mm -hmm. I, I'm chuckling a little bit because it's hard not to focus on you with the wings flapping, and the, <laughs> you know, I'm like, where, where else do we I live here? I, I mean, know, I yeah, it's a severe case of ADHD for that. Yeah, I know. Lady, Lady, G does, Lady G has a um like a green background. I almost thought she was plugged into the Matrix for a bit. But moving <laughs> over to Lady G, my question for you is the same one, Lady G. What would your ex say is a quality about you that he that wasn't his favorite? Um, I would say probably my independence. Um, I I definitely. I'm the type to get things done on my own. I don't wait around um, for things. And, and sometimes it would cause problems because I need to learn to be more patient for people. But when I want something done, I, I want it done. 
so well fair enough fair enough mm -hmm. people might call it assertiveness i in the words of neo i love her because she got her own it, I, I have to respect <laughs> that all right ghosty so we have these three amazing ladies as your contestants on today's show and let me if you guys are just tuning in now in the chat let me know what let me let you know what you're tuning into this is rate the date the number one dating show on the app i got these three amazing contestants we got ghosty as our bachelor on today's episode after a couple more questions unfortunately somebody has to go but even the people that do leave as ghosty was somebody that wasn't chosen on our last episode and now you see him as our bachelor today so if they don't call mm -hmm. me dory anybody can get a date for no reason i turn virtual dating into reality at least i try and after that we go into round number two where we'll double up the questions and him and that person will get to know each other off of the platform in the book of face the snap of all chats the gram of all instas whatever the mm -hmm. kids are calling it these days and then they tune back in next friday closer to 12 p.m eastern time and give us a bit of an update speaking of updates we had freaky d on our last episode mm -hmm. and she chose boss we'll be hearing from them at the end of this episode so don't go anywhere all right back into the second round of questions we got coley coley my question for you would be what advice would you give your younger self oh that's a good question um i think the biggest thing that i would tell my younger self is learn how to not take anything personally um yeah i think that's something that i struggled with for a long time was very high sensitivity to things um so i would just I tell my younger self yeah i definitely <laughs> respect that um, so so you you're you um what, what what was the situation where you took something personal when you were younger that you kind of wish you would have just let go i mean you you do are you the person that is, has practiced meditation right mm -hmm. so yeah and i think insider. yes i think that actually i wish i would have known that then <laughs> um but um as with everybody, as you go through your life, all of these things that you go through shapes who you are today. So um, going through those things, like I'll say, for example, if somebody said something and um, it wasn't necessarily directed towards me, it was just like um, maybe an opinion they would have. Sometimes I would take things like that personally or like I would be um, yeah, taking it personal instead of being passionate. Like there was a small... Yeah fine line between that and it was very blurred when i was younger you know so yeah i feel like your younger version would either appreciate it or be like who does this person think she is all right moving over yeah, that was me that second one <laughs> all right moving over to beauty oh well, what about you beauty what is a aspect that what is something that you would have told your younger self that uh you wish she would have known or or maybe nothing maybe you would have just let kind of the pieces fall where they were? I would have told my younger self, pack your bags and travel. That's what I would have said. Oh, Just gosh. travel and enjoy yeah. the I was oh, too busy enough. trying to be, you know, grown up. I, I, I should have, you know, just packed the bag and just traveled. Yeah, you know, but maybe you were that little caterpillar that was uh, inching around everywhere, but then you grew those pair of wings and I I'm not so even to it. started flying all over the place. What you did there, Dorian? <laughs> uh, I hate my life. All right, moving over to Lady G. Lady G, what about you? Well, now yourself. I'm going to tell her to travel more. Like, that's definitely a good one. I like that. <laughs> but um, I, I would say probably it's not my job to make everybody happy. It's my job to be happy myself. Definitely. That that's what you would have told your younger self. Yep, pretty much short and sweet. Just it's not my job <laughs> so to make other people happy. You would have told uh, younger lowercase G, hey man, you know it's not our job <laughs> to be a people pleaser. Let's exactly. uh, do this. Uh, let's do and this travel more. Yep. Let, yeah. Yeah. Let's do some traveling. Travel let's, more. Uh, let, Just let's start go. being independent. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. I appreciate it. All right, Ghosty, I got another round of questions for the ladies, but in the meantime, I want you to think about some questions for the ladies. I already have them in mind. Let's do it. Hit her with it. Coley. Ooh. Contestant Ooh. number one, what question do you have for her, Ghosty? 
Totally. If I need to run out and you're the only person available inside the house, how would you handle my kids? Like my own? <laughs> Um, I have kids myself. I'm a single mom and um, I actually have a grandbaby now because all my kids are a lot older. Um, so <laughs> I've always been like the nurturing type. I've always been um, the Mother Teresa of the neighborhood. You know, like even when I was younger, I was always kind of the kid who made sure all the kids were like behaving and not doing something too crazy. And, you know, so. <laughs> Um, you know, I was always like that one friend that was like, guys, come on, like, you know, <laughs> this yeah, well, isn't would, right, guys. I would, that, that is an awesome, I like the quickness. She said, like they were my own, you know, and mm -hmm. you being a grandma, I, I don't know, they said black don't crack. Brand new, brand new grandma. <laughs> they, they say black don't crack, Asian doesn't raisin, raisin and then what, Coley doesn't moldy? I don't know. Come right. On. All right, moving over to... Oh, beauty. <laughs> what question? Same question uh, for, uh, that Ghosty said for, for you, beauty. If uh, you had a situation where you were put in a place to not necessarily be the parent, but be that parental figure, how do you handle that? Um, I would approach him first um, and ask him how he would like for me to approach that situation. If I were there myself, um, I would probably just sit him down and time out until he got there. Well, at least for the appropriate time we time out. And then told him what happened and let him deal with the punishment. Oh, hey, that's a that's playing it safe. So she kind of initially addressed it more in a safe side. Hey, I need to know how he wants me to participate in raising his kids. And maybe phone a friend hey mm -hmm. so this one this one did this and that how would you like me yeah. to handle it but the place well, I never all going my time kids out I'm not a hitter time out was really big for me so um time out usually worked for me so <laughs> it might not work for every kid but you know it works all right lady G do you have children I do all right let's switch things up a little bit for this one um how long do you wait for up your partner to meet your kids and and you know are they old enough to be able to understand that or is it something a little bit more where you kind of take your time and you know see what that person's intentions are well um i'm very um protective of my kids i do have a three to six month rule before they could even kind of even like know about somebody who I, who I'm talking to. Um, so I'm very selfish with them. I keep them to myself. I keep it separate until we know that it's something that we, sh you know, we should move forward in. So. Oh, well, fair enough. Um, Is there a time frame where you just kind of play it by the person and by your? Like three to six months. It just really just depends. It could be, it could be longer. Like you never know if it's something that you can mesh or anything, but like, um, and it could be sooner. You never really, you never know, but I just definitely like to try to keep it separate. Yeah, fair enough. I, I dated somebody for six months and I never met her kids. And so yeah. there's nothing wrong with that. All right. Mm -hmm. I think go see, mm -hmm. you got one more question to ask the lovely ladies. So starting off with Coley, what, what is it going to be the final question of the first round? If I was to take you on any trip, where would you want to go and why? Hmm. Any trip? Any trip. Yeah. And, and, all right. Um, and I think all the ladies here appreciate traveling you know started off with, started off with coley Ready. I mean, it started off it started off with beauty and then it went over yeah. to lady g but i think coley also yes you know um raising all these kids and stuff you know so, you know, so, <laughs> um, let's see uh probably i really really want to go to jamaica um it's been a place where i've wanted to go for a long time um and I've only been to one other Caribbean country, so 
I think the Caribbean is like calling my name. <laughs> okay. All right. There's yeah. a Jamaican me crazy and uh what Caribbean be in uh that was a reach joke in there somewhere. All right, what about you, Beauty? If he had the chance to take you on a date, what would appease you the most? What appeals to you? A date? Ooh. Uh, a good steak and potato. Hey, I mean, wrong with that. A good steak and potato. How do you like right. it? Does, it, does it matter where you get it from? If it's chili? Well, or... a good steakhouse, you know, a good steakhouse. You know, you know, I'm like in the steak, steak and I don't want no cheap steak. <laughs> <laughs> um, like a good said. steakhouse. Italian, I love Italian. I love steak. Hey. Hey, Ghosty, what, what, what did you, what, what are you chiming in with? How do you like your steak cooked? Medium rare. Yeah, she said, make her, she said, make me a steak and don't make a mistake. All right, moving <laughs> over to medium, medium Lady or medium G. Rare, depending <laughs> how thick the steak is. All right, moving over to Lady G, what about you? If you had the opportunity to get the day to your dreams, what appeals to you the most? Like he did say travel, go somewhere, right? Or like, okay, he did say that. didn't mean to like be, I've always wanted to go to Greece, definitely at a good, at the good season where it's, you know, Pinterest and Insta ready, you know, that's somewhere nice, relaxing, quiet. Exactly around December. December yeah. is the time to go. Yeah. And I'm going there this, this December. Oh, you're going. Oh, wow. Nice. That hey, we'll definitely make note of that for sure. Okay, unfortunately, mm -hmm. that ends the first round of questions. And because you just made it to the show, let me catch you up a little bit on these ladies before you make your dec decision, Ghosty. We had Lady G saying beach is her life. She loves the beach. It's her happy place. She also has watched Game of Thrones three times, and she's ready to go on her fourth time watching that. Maybe you can step in if you pick her and watch that together and she also says she loves um cooking <laughs> food okay then moving over to coley speaking of food she said she is a foodie she says she loves to cook and i asked her what would be her ideal dish to make for you and she said it just depends on what you like whatever you like she's like a burger king you we make it how you order it so, yeah, she, she said she's a she said she's a spiritual person and we went through a like a little breathe in breathe out exercise here that you missed um and also we had mm -hmm. we had the lovely beauty she's a cosplayer if you couldn't already tell and she's she's a crafty person also she makes and adds on to a lot of her outfits and she also is an introvert so streaming has been a way for her to branch out if you will mm -hmm. all right so good a job ladies you guys it's gonna be a tough question but um a tough round a tough pick but can we just give a round of applause to the ladies thank y'all appreciate it they have been easy to deal with off the platform and mm -hmm. also on the platform so we appreciate y'all and give it up to go see for stepping it up last minute replacing our bachelor all right ghosty uh, you can't have them all so who is going to be, rather than picking the person you want to eliminate, how about we pick the person you want to keep and move into round number two? So can we get a drum roll, please, chat? Who is going to be the first person moving into round number two? And give us a reason why. Lady G. Lady G, congratulations. You make it into round number two. So just sit tight, okay. relax. Oh, and that background changed. Okay. All right. Now I'm not in the matrix. Okay, <laughs> she's out of the matrix. She's taking the blue pill. Okay, <laughs> who is going to be the final person moving into round number two? Can I get a drum roll, please, Chad? Are you there? It will have to be Beauty. Beauty, congratulations. You move into round number two. Unfortunately, Coley, that means you are eliminated on today's episode. Mm. But don't go anywhere off the app because I would love to bring you back, maybe pair you up with a couple of guys. I don't know if we'll be able to get you in this season because we got something that we need to talk about with what I think a people who have been to the show already know. But enough about that. Coley, did you have a good time? 
I did. Thank you so much for having me. I appreciate it. Of course. All right. Until eight, Bye. by the way, make sure you favorite all of our contestants and our bachelor. They all stream. So have fun on their streams and get to know them a little bit more. Okay. And then there were two moving into round number two. We're going to double up the questions. So you guys get an equal mm -hmm. opportunity to let the bachelor know a little bit more about you. But how about we switch things up and tell ghosty to ask y'all. Uh, oh, how about you ask the bachelor a question? Sorry about that. So starting off with lady G, what is the question you would like to know about the oh. bachelor? Damn, uh, this is, uh, no, I'm not good at questions. Kind of caught you off guard there, right? I wasn't ready for that. Um, you, you didn't tell Just me. Just like real that. life. <laughs> <laughs> you can't always uh, be prepared. You, you gotta, what uh, you is, always... Go okay. For it. okay. Um, um, what is the, your favorite beverage? <laughs> hmm. That's a tough one. What's your poison? What is your favorite beverage? Not alcoholic or non-alcoholic? Non-alcoholic. Yeah, we'll go non-alcoholic. What what is what is your favorite? Non-alcoholic would have to be a strawberry acai refresher from Starbucks. Not the lemonade. And no ah. water. Boom. Oh, okay. Well, fair enough. That is awesome. What about you, Beauty? What question do you have lined up for The Bachelor today? Hmm. Cats or dogs? Dogs. Cats or dogs? He said dogs, Beauty. Is that, uh, is, I'm curious, is that a right or wrong answer? Um, well, I am a dog lover, but my dog passed away. So I went to cats because I didn't want to get another dog. Well, fair enough. Mm -hmm. well, well, right there, so I, I, I guess it's the right answer. <laughs> All right, go see. We are moving into round number two. How about we switch it up and have Beauty be contestant number one, and we'll have Lady G be contestant number two. So I got a couple of questions for the ladies. So Beauty, my question for you would be if you had the opportunity to, um, uh, what, what, uh, actually, let me switch it up. I, I got a couple of cool questions that I have lined up. Um, here, my question for you would be, what makes you unique other than the obvious <laughs> like, beyond the cosplay, beyond the wings, beyond the bedazzled background? What makes you unique? I'm the ultimate girl you can cheat on because I could be this. I can do that. I can be anything. <laughs> What you meant um, to say, I'm the ultimate I, I'm, girl. I'm a chameleon. I can change. I, um, I always change my look. I always, I, I never stay the same. I, I always change, you know, my look, not my personality or who I am, but my look. Um, I could go from yeah, like, what you, you know, uh, classy to street to punk to, I have all kinds of uh, looks that I I just change. I just if I get yeah, too bored. In the, I can. Yeah. So what you mean to say there's no reason to cheat because you can adapt yeah. and turn into anything. It's like a Sims I'm character. Gonna, <laughs> what do we want today? I'm Let's just place you. an order in. <laughs> Throw on a wig and a new new day. All of the day. Person. All right, Lady G. What about you? What makes you unique? Well, other than the the independence. What, what um, makes you unique? Well, I mean, it's kind of the same as like, like she is adaptable. Like I'm super spontaneous. Like I can, I can definitely just like, if I want to do something, I'm, I'll go out and I'll do it. I don't really like uh, question too much. I just kind of like do what I want. When I want. When you want it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Okay, my question number two for you ladies, I have them lined up over here. The second question would be, it's going to be different for each one of y'all. All right, so beauty, my question for you is, what is the biggest boundary that you have in a relationship other than the jealousy? And what is, a, what is, a, what is another boundary that you have in a relationship? Oh, respect. Respect is definitely a boundary for me. 
Um, and what respect. classifies what classifies somebody being disrespectful? What are some things that you kind of run into? Well, if you if, if I say, look, you know, I don't like this, and you continue to overstep that, that's that's breaking a boundary for me. You know what I mean? If I said, hey, I don't like the way you're talking to me or you're treating me, and you continue to do that, that's that's to me breaking the respect for someone. You know what I mean? Well, so I I, I I take this. As, I, I, I take this a little bit more as not necessarily what your boundary is, but how people respect your boundaries after you set them yeah. makes an impression on you. Yeah. Yeah, fair enough. What about you, Lady G? What's the biggest boundary that you have in a relationship? Um, definitely like keeping your word in the simplest things. If you say you're gonna call, you call, or if you, you know, just simple, simple as that, just, if you say you're going to do something, don't think that you already did it just because it's a, it's already been said, you know, you, you got to follow through with what you say. Most oh, fair enough. My boundary. If you don't, oh, yeah. then it's like... <laughs> yeah, don't say something if you don't mean it. And mm -hmm. out of that gap that you said that it takes for a guy to kind of uh, uh, show you his worth, those definitely might be something that Ghosty needs to take note of. All right, Ghosty, mm -hmm. what a, you have a question for the ladies? What questions right now? Ghosty? No, no questions, questions right now. Me. All right, we'll move back into mm -hmm. Mr. Dor Mr. Dor's questions. All right, my question for you, Miss Beauty, would be, what do you consider your greatest weakness other than the jealousy? I feel like, sorry, I'm reiterating. <laughs> the it, is very it really is. It really is. Um, oh, my weakness, blue eyes. I love blue eyes. Blue eyes, okay. All right, well, our <laughs> bachelor here has black eyes. Um, That's okay. Black brown. Brown eyes. No one has black eyes. He has brown eyes. You asked me for <laughs> I've got blue eyes, bro. <laughs> No, oh, Dorian has blue eyes, but uh, anyways, all right. So, Lady G, what about you? What is what is your great, greatest weakness? My weakness, um, I don't really like telling people my weakness because then they'll pretend that they they have it, and then and then you know, one thing is I don't I don't. <laughs> but I guess it can kind of go into the same thing as keeping your word. If, if you say something and you do it and that's that you got me like honestly i'm very big on verbal promises like that'll that'll get me for sure as long as you follow through <laughs> i'm simple <laughs> i'm just simple <laughs> yes uh oh sorry oh, you're lagging a bit initially it's Uh oh. Oh boy. He's thawing out. Stop it. I can't. <laughs> Like, uh, uh, let me think. Right, 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 right,
questions, I think, on Wolski's episode, we had somebody take a like a high script. Yeah, okay, that's good. Good, okay. A lot, a lot of my, usually, like, by the beach, like, on the beach, it's quite hard for me to think, you know, it's, it's been a lot for me, and a lot, a lot, like, just kind of, kind of, what's the most part of the beach? Yeah, 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 to get from one A to one. That's just me. Steve, what question first in the first round on the years? Like I do, I, I exactly what I'm doing with that. 
That's the weird dating show. Step from the field of dating. We'll make different. That's for it. Don't just. Uh, one into the bachelorette. Uh, to say, all they have to do is just the bachelor or bachelorette only. Very interesting. Uh-huh. All right, appreciate, uh, appreciate being here. We'll love to get to know you. Yeah, that was awesome. The wishes for them will be worked out. And most of the first of you also. Okay, so last episode. 3D. So if we can have one box, it's not, I have updated them. Um, also, one of our top gifters from our, the number one, you see them there. The number had fire space. Was at 3D. And still had time to make it a awesome. Number four, don't be hard. Bachelorette, that's the end of We had a guy by the name of Ray. Ray. No relation here. But this tech is another. I'm going to go out to our top. It's here. Whenever you want to find